Well, <laughs> today we are at the Goodwill. We got a really late start today because my video got hit with a copyright strike. It hasn't happened in a while, but it happened today. So we've got a late start, but we are now here at the Goodwill. We are about to head in and see what we can find that we can flip for a profit. So here we go. Well, Dagny had already been here shopping for a little while, so she had gathered some things in her cart to pass along to us, which was very nice of her, including this little brass duck, because she knows I'm trying to get over my brass aversion. Uh, she also grabbed this plate, and for herself, she had found some Namaji pottery. It's actually a nice piece of Namaji for $2.99. That's not a bad price for Namaji. It doesn't have a very high resale value, but that's pretty good. Back here, I spotted this Atlantic mold tree. I do like this dish. I think my grandmother may have had a piece like this because I always have this nostalgia when I see them. I've got some fun candles. Decided to check the box. And there was a cat in here doing yoga. I thought that was pretty cool. Not really my thing, though. Dagny just happened to spot this Yadro sitting on the shelf, which I thought was amazing for her to catch that. But it appears to be a little child sleeping on a pillow. They must have thought that it was Jesus and part of a nativity, and that's probably why it was stuck with the Christmas, but it was not Jesus. It was just a child sleeping. So since I had such great luck with Christmas the last time, I decided to delve a little deeper this time as well. Obviously, Dagny just had some luck with the Christmas. <laughs> Got some ornaments here. I'm actually looking for vintage Christmas ornaments because I know Michael is looking for them to make his beautiful wreaths. And so I've decided to make it my mission to find vintage Christmas for Michael. This I actually thought was Lennox and I was surprised when I turned it over. It kind of looks like Lennox, but Upon closer inspection, it's not. I've got some plates here that I thought were worth looking at. This caught my eye on the back of the shelf. And sure enough, it was made in the Czech Republic. They just looked like they had a little bit of quality to them. They said elements, however. And Dagny decided to look them up. And they don't have a really high resale value. But they did look like they had some quality to them. I did end up leaving them there, but I was I was pleasantly surprised when I saw the Made in Czech Republic on the bottom. Here I'm thinking, well, maybe they're supposed to stack, but clearly they were not. I also found this picture, and there was just something about this picture. It was very heavy and good quality, and I don't always buy clear glass. I do if it's crystal, but I liked that picture. But I found this dollar horse here for $3.99. We've had pretty l good luck with these recently, and so I decided to grab this. Turns out it is IKEA. They sell for about $20 to $25. Bucks. For $3.99, that's not too bad. Now this piece was amazing. I really, really liked this. It was a very heavy, heavy glass, and there was just a quality about it. However, because it was so heavy, I really didn't want to mess with it, and I really didn't see it bringing a whole lot in the booth, so I left it there. Dagny found a box, and when she tried to lift the lid, the lid wanted to fall off. Can't tell you how many times that happens. This looked familiar, and it's probably because I pick it up every single time I come to this Goodwill. These bowls here, I did like the design on these, but I just didn't really see a high resale value for those. I 
Up here, this toothpick holder was upside down. It is a pineapple shape, that is what they call it. But it was upside down, so I had to fix it. I did really like this. It was a sugar bowl, however, it was missing its lid, which was very unfortunate because I just thought that it was absolutely darling with a little chicken on it. Um, it's the missing lid conspiracy. We talk about this on almost every video. It's a thing. I found this, which was absolutely fantastic. It is a handbag or a purse made out of Guinness bottle caps. I do believe it is vintage and I thought it was pretty neat. So of course I decided to grab it and they sell for about 30 to 40 bucks. So not bad. Not bad at all. They only wanted $1.99 for it. We were, weren't quite sure what these were. We thought maybe they're candlestick holders, but I, I just don't know. A little perplexing. I thought this was adorable. It's a little giraffe box, and I couldn't believe it was still on the shelf for $4.99. So I almost went to go put it in my cart and then I realized wait a second there's damage there on his ear so that was pretty unfortunate because I thought he was adorable this piece appears to be made in Mexico there was a big crack in it and this reminded me of a console bowl that we had not too long ago that had books it was pretty neat There's some tacos there on the shelf. I did like this glass piece, but it was a lampshade. This vase, ooh, unfortunately there was a crack. Otherwise it would have been a very nice vase. We've got a wash set there, a bell, in case you didn't know what that was, that was a bell. A picture here. It kind of reminded me of Frank Homa, but I just wasn't sure. And we found another giraffe. A very cute little giraffe for $4.99. Probably made in Africa, but he's so cute hanging on to the side of the bowl there. I mean, that's pretty cute. So I did decide to grab this giraffe. He made his way into my cart. So I did spot this advent wreath here on the shelves and I decided to grab it for resale. It was $1.99 and it did appear to be wood, but I suspect that it was actually resin. And now is a good time to list these. And so I felt like since the timing was right, I would resell it. This was kind of cute. I don't think there's very high resale value, but it was kind of cute. Up here, this definitely caught my eye. This is 19.99. It's likely a museum replica. It's an Egyptian piece. I thought it was really neat. And it's 19.99. I feel like I could probably make 65 or plus for it. And so I'm not sure yet if it's something I would want to ship or if I would do a local pickup on this, but I just found it was really cool. <laughs> this was kind of neat. I liked it, but the trees looked like they had been through a hurricane. This boat planter was adorable. It was $1.99. I just don't see much resale value there. I spotted this mug, which I did like. It was $1.99. I considered grabbing it, but I didn't recognize the signature on the bottom. Dagny was surprised that I did not take it with me. She thought I would. Uh, but without being able to recognize the signature, I just, I don't feel like I could make that much on it. I did like this dish, and it reminded me of an early photograph piece that I had not too long ago. But you, as you can see, there was a modern marking on the bottom. This, this was scary. And I'll tell you why this was scary. This was scary because it looks like old hand-blown glass. 
it's very nice. It was heavy. There was, there was a quality about it, but on the bottom you could see that there was a Christmas tree shop mark or I'm sorry, sticker on the bottom. So a little scary. Now this piece did catch my eye and it had an interesting tribute on the back, I guess you could say. And in addition to that, it was actually made by Louisville Pottery. So it was kind of an interesting piece, and I'm not really sure the history of it, but I, I found it to be curious, and so I decided to grab it. I especially like the graphic of it, you know, two people pulling someone else up. It was just symbolic, and so I liked this piece. And I'll have to do a little bit more research on it to find out what exactly it means, but I grabbed it. Now, I did find this piece of art pottery, and this has definitely got some age to it, and it's just really nice. I don't know if it would be considered a bulb planter, but I love the glaze. I think the glaze is just beautiful, so definitely grab that piece. These I kind of liked, but they're, they weren't vintage, and so... I loved them. This, on the other hand, was vintage. It was $1.99, and I thought it was cute. The cute factor went out on that one. There's a spongeware picture up here. There was also a signature on this one that I did not immediately recognize. I did like the shape of it. But without knowing who made it, it's hard to say what the resale value would be on something like that. Another art pottery piece. Who do we have here? Is that marble tree? Yes, it's a watermelon. Can you, do you want to guess how heavy this is? I would, well, you're really good. Oh my now. god. I, I don't even think I can like lift it off this. Oh my gosh, that's heavy. Oh my gosh. It's a bag of marble fruit. Yeah, like everything in there is not wait, no. Yeah, the no, the grids are plastic. The these are. Yeah, seriously. And the apple. And then fruit. I feel like that could <laughs> be good, right? What is this? What is that? I don't know what this fruit is. All sorts of stuff. And I figured that for each fruit I can probably get four to ten dollars. There's even a black pear. How often do you see a black pear? Not very often. That's a rare fruit. Worth lots of money. I was checking this over. Some of the Pier 1 rabbit plates do have a very good resale value. And I saw a rabbit on the plate and decided to check if it was Pier 1. However, it was not. Dagny found these eggs these ceramic eggs and they would sell well for easter so she decided to stick them in her cart and hold on to them until easter this was missing its stand unfortunately it was kind of just a neat glass piece but i feel like it would have had a wire stand of some sort probably kind of a console bowl of sorts Now we've got a bag of Christmas. I told you guys I was on the hunt for a bag of Christmas and this looks like the one for me. I feel like there's some good vintage pieces in there, possibly. There's definitely a gingerbread man. I've got a dove. No, this is the one. This is definitely the one. There are some very vintage pieces in here. A little reindeer and look at him. So cute. I could see him on a wreath. I've got some presents. Yeah, this is perfect. So I decided to grab this for Michael and his wreath making. Ooh, we've got a little Made in Korea doll. This one is actually made by Brins, which kind of surprised me. I thought they were usually made by Bradley, but this was Brins. Now there were a pair of cats here and they kind of reminded me of Cats by Nina. 
However, there were no markings on them, and I was just a little confused. Actually, Dagny came up behind me and thought, oh, are these cats by Nina? And no, we both we were both fooled. I liked this dish. It was marked Depose France. And um, see, look, cats by Nina. <laughs> no, no, they're not. Uh, she ended up grabbing the small one, which I thought was great because I felt kind of bad leaving them behind. So I'm glad that she decided to grab the small one. I just wish I knew who made them. I know I've seen them before. I know that much. This little candle holder caught my eye. I believe it's intended to have those little colorful pegs in it. However, this is missing the pegs, but it was really cute and perfect for Christmas. So I grabbed this for $3.99. We've got a boat. A very nice boat. It's metal and wood. And I'm trying to get into the metals. Trying really hard. Maybe too hard on that boat. <laughs> Dagny found one too. Look at that. <laughs> Maybe not. I think it was made in Taiwan. Mine's better. I found these pieces of green depression glass on the shelf. Unfortunately, there is just not a very high resale value for those. And so believe it or not, I did leave those. And I know I'm breaking all, I'm breaking a lot of hearts, but I did leave the green glass there. I considered taking the frog, but I left the green glass. Now we did take a look at some of the nativities here. Some of the Italian Henri wooden nativities can bring good money and so we look at the nativities like this one to see ooh, where was it made this has got a little wise man all by himself <sighs> it was definitely not made in italy we've got these guys the little candle holders party light one of our other favorites right up there with avon and false graph now Dagny found this really exciting mystery bag. And so she decided to start digging in a little bit to the point of even opening it, which was a little bold <laughs> for me anyway. Um, but she decided to open it and see what was wrapped up. And I got really excited because this was actually the exact nativity set that I had growing up. So this was pretty cool. But uh, she decided to purchase this for resale. But it was just really neat to see all of the pieces. And I do actually have the set um, that was my great-grandmother's. So it, it's a pretty old set, but I grew up with this exact same nativity set. Dagny was searching through this case right here because it was a jewelry case and there was potential for jewelry inside. This teapot, unfortunately, was missing its lid because it was very adorable and it would have been 10,000 times better if it did have a lid. But it did not. And we did search around on the shelves looking for a lid. There was also a teapot up here on the top shelf. This was World's Bazaar. And unfortunately, this just does not have a very high resale value even though it is adorable. Now Dagny found this glass flower on the shelf and I do have quite a few glass flowers. I do not have a rose, so that was pretty exciting and I jumped at the opportunity to add that to my collection. That was quite a nice centerpiece right there. Somebody probably had that made for a wedding, I would assume. There was a lid there, but it was not the right lid. I decided to put that little guy on the mug because he looked like he needed to be there. Now back here, I did notice this bell and the pottery looked to be Italian. So I turned it over and sure enough, it is hand painted in Italy. Now you probably noticed it did have some chips on it, which is unfortunate, but I feel like those could be touched up if somebody really liked the piece. Honestly, I don't know if I would hold on to it because I really like the piece and I might find it worth touching up. Um, but I just, I think it's cute and it would be nice for Christmas cookies. So that went into my cart. 
This was just creepy, and I had to share it with all of you because I knew you would appreciate it. And speaking of creepy, this Santa was just staring deep into your soul. We left him on the shelf where he belonged. They also had a roll of toilet paper on the shelves there at the Goodwill. There was no price on it. It was just kind of there, and I'm not exactly sure why. I found it very interesting. But it's getting harder and harder to find everywhere else, so you never know where you're going to find toilet paper these days. And yes, yes, it was marked Shawnee, and I was pretty pleased with that. (laughs) I was really pleased with that. I even did a little happy dance. You just couldn't see it because... You were focused on the bowl. Uh, but it was two ninety nine. It was a Shawnee mixing bowl um, in the corn pattern. I'm yeah, that was a pretty good find. Hidden there with all the bras. Who would have thought? And then I found this. And this was probably one of the most epic things that I found all day. Can I ship it? Probably not. Uh, but I was not about to leave that on the shelf. It looks like it was damaged a little bit there on the tail, but I feel like that could be touched up just to save the piece because it it's really cool. One of a kind, probably. And I just had to have it, so I will probably be selling that one locally. And there you have it. We got a lot of stuff today. Okay, well, that was a really successful trip to the Goodwill. Dagny is waiting for me to head off to our next destination, but I feel like we got some really great stuff today. I'm pretty excited about that big rooster. I'm going to have to sell that locally, but it um, it was definitely like one of those last things that was like really cool. So anyway, oh, she's waiting for me. Uh, our total spend was $91 because we rounded up for charity, but I will see all of you tomorrow. Later. Later.